everybody and welcome back to our groovy life. Today we are doing another episode of root beer. I know Eve, this is Evie's favorite. So we are trying three different root beers today. The first one is, this is Sioux City root beer. The Jones, which is, I guess it's kind of hard to find down here. And when we lived up in Minnesota, we always had Jones. So I don't, it's been forever since I've had Jones root beer. And then the last one is Sprecher root beer. All right, so we are going to pour our glasses and we'll be right back with you guys. We are back and all of our pops have been poured, soda pop, or pop people, pop. <laughs> have been poured. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the Sioux City Root Beer. That is really good. I like that root beer. Try your Sioux. I like this one too. Where's Sioux City from? Anybody read the back? Mm -hmm. It's probably from Sioux City. I would bet Sioux City, Iowa, but we should say a little bit about it. Could be Sioux City, California. So it is distributed by White Rock Product Corporation in Whitestone, New York. Oh. Not at all so what I would say. I would have thought thinking. it was Sioux City, no. Iowa, but I'm totally wrong. With cane sugar. This one is from Glendale, Wisconsin. Oh, yes. And Jones. It's from Canada, I believe. Seattle, Washington. Hmm, I always thought Jones was from Canada. No. Hmm. Wasn't. All right. All right. I really liked that that Sioux one. I'm gonna go on to the Jones one, and as you can see, I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but the Jones is way lighter. Way lighter. But I think you guys were saying that the Jones was made with cane sugar. But it sounds like the Sioux City is Sioux as well. City is it Sioux. was. I can't tell. I don't believe the Sprecher does that. That's though. Jones. The Jones has a whole bunch of really the Jones tiny is very bubbles. Big, yeah. Where the Sioux City would have really big like, bubbles. I can't tell if mine's like that. That's the, the Jones. It's we're going to. This one's going to be um, like a ruby barrel, I betcha. Yeah. The Jones is very sweet. Whoa. That's something you oh, put on ice cream. That's too sweet for me. This, that's a lot. So Jones is one I think that we should do a head-to-head yeah. -head on Jones and Fitz. They're going to taste very similar. This one tastes like the one oh, that, you would use for your float. This one has... Pour it over ice cream to cut the sweetness. I like looking at the sugars because the, the <laughs> Sioux City has 43 grams of sugar. This has 46 grams of sugar. And the Spreckers actually has 51. Mm. So that has a lot more sugar in it. Mm. Which is surprising. This one that Jones nice, was like it is very good. Really light top. colored compared to any other root beer I've yeah. ever seen. I this do like it. Looks the Jones. like tea. But it's very bubbles. tasty though, and it's good very root good. beer. Jones products are always fun. They're always super sweet, and they always taste like candy. Like if you yep. even find the sour apple one, it tastes That's like a Jolly Rancher. One. Oh my, that is so good. It's really good. That it's is a good one. It does not taste that much of. The root beer rails that I have with the ones that are slightly bigger, that have no, the ones that are- Like the off-brand? Yeah, the ones yeah. that are off-brand, the ones that are packaged like Laffy, not Laffy Taffy, the, what's the thing we get at the state fair? Laffy Taffy? Is it Laffy Taffy? Taffy? Or Taffy, taffy. Salt, not Laffy Taffy, Taffy. taffy. Salt yeah, water salt Taffy. taffy. Mm okay. It's packed. The ones that are packaged like that. Oh, I know, I know what you're talking ones. about. I know what you're talking about. Because those taste different. That, that one tastes more like that. Yeah, that's probably one of the sweetest ones we've tried yet. But yeah. it still tastes like root beer. Yeah. It's just really sweet. All right, and the last one is the Spreckers. And I noticed that whenever I was pouring this one, this one did not have a lot of foam on top when you were pouring it. There's a lot of those tiny bubbles just like the other one did. And this one's really dark. No, this one was super light. Surprisingly, that one has more sugar and stuff in it, and it's not as whoa to me. I really like this Sprecher. Oh, it has more ingredients. No, that's a good one. I like that one best out of these three. Yeah, the Sprecher one is always great to me, and it's not just because I know Randy or or a you know have the, the past history. Look, he wouldn't recognize me on the street because we haven't seen each other since the late '80s. But yeah. um, but. I just think it's a really, really solid rooter. It's a really good rooter. So you guys wow. are saying that that's your favorite one? That would be my favorite one. Yeah, that's my favorite of the I three. So. What's your favorite, Eve? My favorite one's the middle one. The Jones? Then this one. I'm gonna get that. I really like that Sioux City one. That, it was that's that's my favorite. That's we won't fight over the extra ones. Yay! 
Yeah, that Sioux City one is a very. I just like Sprecher. They're all products. three really, really good. They do all the Spreckers. They make orange cream. Even their, a nice grape. Even the cola is really good. Even their cola is a good one. It's not a Coke or a Pepsi or whatever. It's its own cola. It's really good. That was the one I can actually. You can drink. only find that. One. I like the cherry the one. Makes two cherry ones. There's a cherry and there's a cherry cream. Isn't that right? Yeah, well, the that's cherry cola would ones. make Cuba 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 Libras. Cuba. Li- Cuba. Wow. Libra. Cuba, Cuba, Libra. Why was Cuba? that so hard for me to say? <laughs> That's never that hard. Yeah, the you cherry. didn't even have any Bloody Mary's today. zero alcohol today. <laughs> and I'm like, Bloody. Yeah, the cherry Coke. <laughs> Sprecker's cherry Coke for with the cherry Cuba cola. Libras. Or cherry cola. Yeah. Is fabulous with Cuba Libras. Yeah, that's a good product. Yeah, these are all And you get a lot. This is Their a, grape is their pint six of perfect yeah. grape pop. 16 ounces. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's really good. Like when you go down to the Fitz, like the actual restaurant Fitz, and they make you like those giant um, floats. I remember I got, it's got like seven scoops of like strawberry ice cream and then it's filled with the, the, the pop. That's what you can do with the Spreckers too. Mm-hmm. So oh, good. Oh yeah, those would make a great float. So what do we think? All of them are Overall, very Overall, I think they were they were very good. I actually surprisingly what, against these ones, I wasn't a huge fan of the Jones. When you're going against weird. the Sue and the Spreckers, which is weird because you've always been growing a Jones up, girl. I always <laughs> had Jones. Like you come in like the little six packs or at Thanksgiving they have the Thanksgiving course dinner. Oh yeah. Those aren't as good as the <laughs> No, they taste like turkey, mashed potatoes, and gravy. But they taste like what they're supposed yeah, to Yeah, they do. taste like what they're supposed they to do. They do taste like mashed potatoes and gravy. Yeah. We need to find some of those. That would be a fun I don't even know if they make those anymore. I have to look. Oh. Oh. Let us know if they make those anymore or we can find one. Yeah, let us know down below in the comments if you know that Joe still makes that what they call it, the Thanksgiving dinner pack. Yeah. Turkey, one tasted like turkey, one tastes like mac and cheese, cheese, creamy casserole. Uh, I think one was stuffing and a stuffing, and there was a cranberry for sure. And then there was one that was real, that Mm -hmm. was the dessert flavored one that wasn't creepy, but they're kind of fun. Yeah, Yeah, they were. That was a kind of a fun kit. But overall, I think this was very successful. We will not have to fight over the leftover root beers that we have out there because I guess everybody had their own favorites. But we, we have will, a lot more. Yeah, we have a lot more root beers coming. Didn't realize this there were so many root beers in the world. Yeah, yeah, you would not believe that there are this many root beers. Because a lot of people would think, like in one of our other episodes, it's just the three, like Mug, A and W, and Barks. Barks. No, there are so many different kinds of root beers out there, and we've only tasted like like six or nine so far, something like that. Mm-hmm. But there's a ton more to come. So. Overall, this was great, and we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. Bye.